GNE officials say they have several layers of wildfire protection, including new tools and technology they're going to start to implement starting this summer. Wildfire season is near. And with the right weather conditions, a blaze can scorch acres within hours. The situation fire crews saw in San Joaquin County just over the weekend. We are expecting below normal significant fire potential for June and July, returning back to normal significant fire potential in August. With more than 50% of the PG&E service area in high risk for wildfires, officials are laser focused on mitigating the danger. The utility is undergrounding more power lines, doing vegetation management, and even using AI cameras that are working 24 hours scanning for any wildfire signs. If they spot anything that looks like a, a, a smoke tendril or in the, in the night a heat shimmer, they'll zoom in and with the advanced AI capability, now other cameras will all zoom in to determine if that is a fire that needs to be signaled uh, to the fire suppression agencies and to the hawk. Sharing that information with CAL FIRE dispatch centers, allowing crews to respond within minutes, even before a 911 call comes in. Another tool is GridScope. They are sensors used to track wildfires and their locations. Solar powered sensor that sits on our poles. By sitting on your pole, what it can do is it detects, is there any electrical anomaly above? It senses it through ultrasound. It also has the capability of monitoring, is there any vibration on the pole? Weather is another huge factor the agency is looking at closely. And generally we're expecting a above normal uh, temperature pattern away from the coast. And so temperatures are very important when it, when it comes to uh, fire danger. So we are taking this obviously uh, with a grain of salt because I know that it just takes one extreme weather event uh, to cause catastrophic outcomes. Cautiously optimistic, hoping late rains and non-existent drought conditions in the state can slow down the wildfire risks these next couple of months. And PG&E has an interactive map that customers can access on the line to see what the utility company is doing in their area to reduce the risk of wildfires. Live in Sacramento, covering local news that matters, Kimberly Cruz, Fox 40 News.